Marco Polo Mandarin. I'm Chinese teacher Becky. In this lesson, we are going to learn the basic Chinese sentence structure, which also the most important Chinese sentence structure, because many other Chinese sentence structures were developed from this structure. The structure is subject plus specific con plus method plus location plus verb plus complement plus object. Okay, basically this should be a sentence structure for HSK1 to HSK3, but Many students, when they go to a higher level like HSK4, HSK5, or even when they become an English Chinese translator, they still have problem in Chinese sentence structure. So in that case, they have to come back to this basic sentence structure. So this is very important. So first we have to know it, then we spend a lot of time on practicing it. Okay, now let's see some sentence the first one is I drink coffee. How do you say I drink coffee in Chinese? It's 我 which means I drink is 喝 then coffee 咖啡 is I drink coffee. How about I drink coffee in Starbark? Where do we put Starbark in this sentence? Starbark is a location. So Starbark should be here. 我在星巴克喝咖啡 在 means at 星巴克 is Starbuck. We just literally translate it from Starbuck. Star is 星巴克 is the pronunciation of bark. So 星巴克 我在星巴克喝咖啡 is I drink coffee in Starbuck. Okay, then how about I drive to Starbucks to drink coffee. Where do we put drive to? Drive to is how do we go there, which is a method. So it should be here. Drive is kai chu. So the sentence tells to wo kai chu. So to go to is not at. Zai means at. To go to is qu. So, in this case, we replace the zai with qu. So, 我开车去星巴克喝咖啡 Which means I drive to Starbucks to drink coffee. So, it's, I want to say, I'll drive to Starbucks to drink coffee tomorrow. Where do we put tomorrow? Tomorrow should be here because tomorrow is a specific time. What is talking about specific time, which means a time point, like today, yesterday, tomorrow, five o'clock, or some specific year. Okay, tomorrow is mean. So the sentence comes to 我明天开车去星巴克喝咖啡 So you can see just with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 With these 6 elements, we can make a lot of sentence 
six in Chinese with like uh, 200 or 500 Chinese words. So you don't really need a lot of words to speak Chinese. But what's more important is to put them in the right order. How about this one? The compliments. We'll talk about the compliments more in the coming few lessons. So for this lesson, we focus on these six elements. Did you realize something? What is the biggest secret in Chinese language? You see, first, I need to drive. So drive happened before I arrived in Starbucks. And I arrived in Starbucks before I drink coffee. So basically, Chinese language follow the time order, which means which action happened first? The action will appear earlier in our sentence structure. So you see, we drive, then we arrive at bar, then we drink coffee. So now we have 我明天喝咖啡 or 我开车去星巴克 or 我在星巴克喝咖啡 You can choose any number of these pattern to make sentences, no matter two or three or five or six. If you don't have that element, you can just skip it. If you have this element, please follow this order. This is the most important Chinese sentence structure. Okay, that's all for this lesson. In next lesson, we will learn more about this sentence structure and other structures that developed from this structure. Okay, see you in next lesson.